Welcome back, fellow gaming droogs. Tighten your bowler hat, pour yourself a fresh glass of Malaco, and get sharpened up. There's me, that is Akomi, and my droog, that is Turk182, and we sit in the Korova Game Bar, getting ready for a bit of the old ultra gaming. Yep, I made it. Whew. I don't even know 
I saw that in the midst of all the explosions. Gary, stop tying up the intercom, dude. Oh, a weapon. Ooh, armor. Oh, well. Turns out we can actually go out on the perimeter and not be surrounded by them. Oh, we have a phone call. <laughs> Alright, call, you're on the air. It's okay. It's okay. We've dealt with worse. Oh, no! Oh, oh I'm dead! Oh, I'm, I'm in a cluster I'm of, like, I'm swarmed. 40 of them. Oh, shit. It's, it's like this mission's even worse than the first. Uh, so my health is pretty good, though, so... But yeah, at least this time I didn't die surrounded by three health boxes. So that's pretty nice. Wow. That's a lot of ships. Man. Oh, that's a lot of ships. Crap, get away. Where are you? I see you. I see you. I'm bumped up. I had more health when I was like, hey, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I saw you, but now I don't see you anymore. Yeah, I'm, I, I keep trying to direct you, but, like, you're I see you. too quick. There we go. Oh, and there's a health box back there, so you'll be able to recover. Yeah, it's right here. I'm going back in here. There's tons of health in here. Okay. Because I want all that armor time. and stuff. So I can farm that beam without that freaking armor. Oh, here's another weapon. I see some armor. Okay, there's only, like, two more ships, so as long as, like, freaking Gary doesn't bring it down. Jeez. Freaking Gary! There's a tower and a weapon right there and I can't get it! Oh, 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 son of a... Ah, oh, come off it. Well, we got 18 armor. That's not bad. Oh, we could have, yeah. But hey, we got three new weapons. <sighs> Plasma grenade. Right now I feel about grenades. Oh, shit, isn't it? Alright, so, who got the weapon? Oh! Capacity 10? Damage 70. Hmm. Ah. Reload time is only 1.5 seconds, though. Still, I mean, with only... I'll, I'll give it a shot. I will give it a shot, but... Uh, here we go. Alright. Did I get anything? Um... Oh, it's a sniper. Um, okay, come on then. Also, this. Oh, so that just gives me grenades. That uh, doesn't really seem like it can do it for me. To get a homing weapon, though. Huh. You know what? Ugh. I don't know. Did you say a homing weapon? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want me to call the boys. <laughs> It's two tin damage and it's got a huge radius that says only. Oh no, I'm not doing that. Okay, well, I'll solve that. Well, guess we can hop in for the next thing. That way we'll make some progress this episode. Alright, Day of the Demons. Day of the Demons. Yeah, I kind of look at that hammer. Look at that hammer. Yeah, that is pretty great. I'd kind of like to try this in service. We're so far into it now, I don't know if it'd really be worth it. And apparently they're super complicated. I thought they were complicated. No. Again, I'm a very simple guy. Alright, so I think these are the ones we have to shoot down. Okay, well, okay, I'm not feeling good about my laser now. I just tried to mow down three civilians and got nothing. Okay, so let's go. It, it doesn't do too good. Hello. Okay. Whoa! Some a lot of ants. Oh jeez, I see them. Oh jeez! 
I mean, I now really seen. Well, the laser is actually doing way better with these guys. Oh, oh yeah, this is satisfying. See, this is where I really need the shotgun. And we should have shotguns for this kind of fish. I'm stuck in a pile of dead ants. Woo! Jeez, this thing is powerful. There's no doubt about that. Yeah, it seems like it. Talking one shot, one kill. But. Whoa! But when I've got that many ants coming at me, I need something that's gonna really kick out some firepower. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, there he is. He was blending in with his background weapon! That's a lot more to it. Are we supposed to be bringing the ships down? Uh, as of right now, I'm just trying to get these ants out of the way, man. Hey! Whoa, look at all that armor! I'm gonna pick it up! Oh, hey, you're alive, aren't you? You're an alive one, eh, hey, fella? Shit. Okay, at least, like, right now, we seem to be heading well, well on our way towards uh, collecting enough armor to make up the last mission. One point five seconds is still a long time when I've got a giant <laughs> insect in front of me. Yeah, yeah, I can totally see that being a problem. And that's just one more reason why I prefer using melee weapons in games like this. Which I mean obviously it's not practical in something like this, because you gotta bring down stuff out of the air. Oh wow. It's gonna be a long night. Yeah, I mean, I need to grab that health. I didn't need it. Looks like this. Uh... Yeah, there's lots of health laying around this mission. Guess I better get involved and deal with some ants. Yeah, man, I, I can't kill a civilian to save my life. What if I wanted to, like, surrender to the alien overlords? That's right. I, for one, welcome our new insect overlords. I mean, think about how much it would improve society. You have the hive minds, uh, you have a perfect monarchy, uh, you get to eat your own young. I mean, it's just it's a pretty good system. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, really, there's no downside to it at all. No. Equal housing. I mean, all the royal jelly you can eat, and like, hey, a job for everybody. I mean, oh yeah, solves yeah. the employment problem. I mean, that's real socialism for you right there. Yep. If I weren't such an anarchist, I would just go for it. Surprise! 
surprised that, like, I'm surprised that there can be this many of one thing on screen at one time. I mean, like, even as far back as the GameCube, consoles were to the point where they could handle having, like, well over 100 things on screen at a time. And, and these, these are, like, hundreds of very, very large things.